people of Taita Taveta County have a cause to celebrate. This is because the age-long battle against malnutrition and starvation in the county is bearing fruit. I can confidently say that we have achieved a lot of what we set out to achieve for the community. So we're very happy with the results. So thank you. In November 2013, a baseline survey done in Taita Taveta County revealed a concerning number of children who were underweight and with malnutrition. It was then that World Vision, with support from European Union, started the Maternal Child Health and Nutrition Project to avert the menace. The critical issues were around um, nutrition and uptake of services such as antenatal care, skilled birth attendance, and utilization of family planning and reproductive health services. Together with World Vision, International Medical Corps and St. Joseph's Shelter of Hope helped in implementing the project. Community health volunteers perform home visits and counsel with expectant mothers before and after childbirth. <laughs> Uko kama hali yako ya kawaida kila nikikutembelea huwa naona uko na raha. Eh, sina joy hali. Sikivu. Unasikia vipi? Leo nimechanganyikiwa kidogo. Unachanganyikiwa na nini tena mwanangu? Na mambo ndani. Eh. Mimi ndio nimejambia. Eh, kuna miezi mingapi sasa? Mimi. Ushaenda kliniki kweli? Eh, watoto wangu wote sijaenda. Kwa nini? Kwa nini una shida gani? Kliniki ni la ni ya muhimu sana kwa mama mjamzito upate kujulikana hali yako ya afya vile inavyoendelea mm -hmm. pia kile kiumbe ambacho kiko ndani yako kipate kujulikana kimika katika hali nzuri mm -hmm. haya pia pale kliniki kuna chanjo ambazo utapewa mm -hmm. za kuweza kukusaidia kwa huu ujauzito wako pia katika huu ujauzito wako unatakana huu unapata lisho bora mm -hmm. na pia huu unalala ndani ya neti kuna kadi hasa mm -hmm. ningekupa mm -hmm. sasa unapoenda kule kliniki ukiona dalili kama hizi usimwona oh, mama ni mjamzito anatokana na damu huku mm -hmm. nikufitika huko akishajifungua mimi kama muhudumu wa afya tena ni jukumu langu kumfata ni muangalie mtoto ni mfundishe jinsi ya mtoto vile anavyotakikana anyonye mtoto akiwa na siku tatu na mtembelea nione dalili zake na pia kitambo mtoto afikishe mwezi ama siku 28 ni jukumu langu kumtembelea mara kwa mara ili nikaweze kujua anaendelea vipi Nutrition diversity has been an issue and this has led to many cases of malnutrition. This area is prone to long drought and sometimes the food that comes from the community is very little. We implemented a project in which uh, households that had uh, malnourished children were selected for support for small stock and kitchen gardening. Pirihat's meetings have been transformational. This is where mothers come together to collectively feed their children and learn about health and nutritional issues from their health trainers. Tulikuwa tunafundishwa jinsi ya kuchanganyia watoto vyakula aina mbalimbali. Kama kwa mfano umempikia sima, umpikie maharagwe mchanganye kidogo na mchicha ama kama ni cabbage ama kama ni sukuma wiki. Mimi nilikuwa na mchuko wangu nilikuwa nikiishi naye ambapo alikuwa na mezi 10 bado haja anza kutamba na haya mafundisho alipokuja na tulifuatilizia na sasa hii mjuku wangu ako na miaka miwili na nusu wote vya naelekea kuingia na sare nilipoanza kuja alikuwa mdhaifu alikuwa hajachangamka lakini kwa sasa hivi yuko na ako active pia amechangamka na pia ameongeza kilo na kula anakula vizuri kwa sababu unajui kula pamoja ilifanya hata akawa na ile appetite zaidi the project impact has been far and reaching Lives of children have been changed, with some being literally saved from the jaws of death. Little Juliana's comeback story validates the importance of this project. Yeah, Juliana is from Mombasa. Mama, Mama, I'm going to go to Mombasa. 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 I
Kuna pahali alikuwa anampeleka kumweka, alikuwa anapeleka maziwa na chakula ili huyo medi wake ampatie. Akija nakuta vile mazoea ya mtoto ameiacha. Ame ni hivyo hivyo chakula, ni hivyo hivyo hata hakuna chakula amepewa hata mazoea ya kupewa. Mtoto anashinda tu akinyonya kidole kutazima. Paka ikafika pahali mtoto mwili wote ukawa mweupe kabisa. Macho yake pia ilikuwa ilikuwa hairizishi. Sasa nikamwambia kuliko kuacha kazi na heri tu mleto ulimleta mtoto. Nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu kuna madaktari walijitolea kuja kututembelea kijijini kana kama si hivyo mtoto nafikiri hata ingelikuwa sahihi nimeshazika yani kulengana na jinsi tulivyofundishwa hata hakuchukua muda kama wiki moja tu kushika wiki ya pili hata mamake alikuja kutoka Mombasa nikampigia simu mtoto wako amebadilika hata sahihi mtoto ana keti hata ukimpatia kikombe anashika mwenyewe mamake hakukubali kamwambia kweli ndio uone Hospitals have registered a decline in cases of malnutrition. Out of about 100 families that were supported, we are able to see that those children within those families actually recovered. Some challenges could not be avoided. There was a gap in uh, service provision. For quite some time, it is the partners that were on the ground that were facilitating most of the important processes for the Ministry of Health. Let's take an example of the outreaches. Outreaches in areas where community members are so far from the health facilities were almost 100% funded by donor funding, which is a challenge in sustainability because as this project comes to the end, there are some of the areas that were newly set up when this project came on board. Then the question comes in is, so are they going to still go on? The county has 28 community health units compared to the 64 that would cover the entire county and it's it's one of the things that we realize that uh, where we have a community health unit the indicators of health are very good over reliance on uh, food aid has been one of the issue within the county because most of the families that we were uh, working with have also been under the relief uh, food while working with uh, community health volunteers there have been a lot of expectations and especially when they hear there's a donor or a, a partner we're supporting. So they expect maybe uh, some payment. When those expectations are not met adequately, then sometimes there's some laxity. The Maternal Child Health and Nutrition Project has helped save many lives and left a lasting impact in the community. We have been able to see the demand for services in our facilities also increasing. Previously, our exclusive breastfeeding rate was 51.1%. And after interventions, we have seen that one rise to about 74%. Community members have appreciated the project. We thank the Shirika Vision for the development of the project. We have been able to get the support of our family, because we have been able to get the support of our family. Because we have been able to get the support of our family, and we have been able to get the support of our family. But when you are in the house, you can get the support of our family. Asakama vifu vinyo pia vifu vimepungua.